Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Shell Script Tutorial Series Part 15. In today's video, we're gonna understand how we can utilize the get opt to pass the command line option for a shell. And that actually help us to create a shell script ready for production environment. So let's find out how can we utilize a get ops to make our shell script more user friendly when it comes to execute that in a real time environment. So let me just create another shell script. Let's say get ops demo message. Okay, and let me just put a shebang line. Okay. So, so far what we have done is uh, we just, you know, use a dollar hash to see the number of, you know, the variables, total number of arguments, then we utilize dollar one for first argument, then dollar two, blah, 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 so on and so forth, right? But what GetOps provide us is it does two things for us, right? So get up, it's actually, you know, to, uh, actually, you know, help us to give the option to the shell script through which we can pass more, uh, you know, the arguments. So let's see with the demo, how can we use that? So what we, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put while get ops, why, why we have to put in a while loop because we can give, you know, more than one option. And through while we are iterating through all the options, you know, which get opt is going to prepare for us. From the command line what we are going to pass to the shell right so let's say i have let's say i want to put suid you you just gonna get to know that what these options are so let's say i want to have four options suid for my shell script then i have to do okay then i have to put that here inside that what we have to do is we have to use a case if you don't know how to use the case i have already published one of my video where you can just understand how case works but it's very straightforward if you will just understand the syntax so what i'm doing here is get ops what it's going to do is whatever the option you are giving inside the single quotes those values are going to be stored in an option and then we can evaluate in a case so dollar options is actually going to give us all the values which get up is gonna capture for us when we are going to provide to the shell script that's we're gonna see so the very first option which we have is s so let's say we are using s for let's say saving output report or whatever you want to say right and then we can just put double quote this is just a syntax then we have another option let's say u and u let's say we have update uh, let's say we want to update uh, input input file then double column then let's say we have another option I, so now you got to know that so whatever single quotes values individually we are giving that is actually working as a options for us right and we're gonna see how we can pass those values to the command line and let's say i is for many relating file and you can put any logic here right whatever you want to do with these options and the last one is D. Let's say I want to delete five. Delete how this cat ops is gonna help us right so let me just make it executable we make it executable by now, by now we all know if you are following my tutorial series 
now let's see the magic of get ops okay so if i just give hyphen s okay see what is happening now it is just giving me the echo message which i have put in a s option right let's see i have minus q then i have minus t okay let's see what happens so now what is happening because of that while loop one by one it is considering all the options and then it is executing that logic right so how does it help in a real time right so i don't know whether you if you have if you have worked in a linux environment you would have used this command right ls minus ltr right this is what you can do with this script right i can give dash then i can give s u i d all the four options which we have and see what it is doing for us right it is just one by one due to the while loop that get ops is just capturing all these values and by one by one while loop is actually iterating through and just you know executing all the options right and that is how you know this ls minus ltr is working similarly then tar file if you want to create a tile there are multiple options like cz we have to create a you know gun zip file or the tar file right so that is how you know those you know the the multiple option actually works with the default command line default commands which we have in shell right now the other thing which i wanted to uh, explain in the get ops is now uh, you we have seen that if we have simple options through which we want to control a logic then it's fine but let's say if you want to pass some argument to let's say for the uh, option u so we have to give a column that would say that 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 ensure that you have to pass whenever you want to use the option u and a d let me just remove for d and we can just see with the u then you have to give some option some argument additional argument and to just use that argument what you have to do is oh sorry what you have to do is there is let me just put another equal one here equal and fast argument where option is you can refer that as a arc okay not this it has to be let me just put it in and we should be fine okay and let me just close it that's so good let me just save it and let's see if i run the same script again what happens see passed argument with option is id but you see that we are not iterating through all the options and the reason is because whenever you have this column it means it has it is a mandatory option so what you can do is minus sid and minus u you can pass let's say test option okay let's see what happens now you see first option saving output file second i i i logic is for i for logic for i i option is getting executed then for d then updating a input file for u option along with that pass argument option is test option so how does it help right so it help actually if i just write the star you remember this this requires c z v f then let's say we want to create a task or tag of z z right so what does it mean is it is actually minus f so if i just write this command like this so what is going to do is it is going to create the file with this particular name and that is how it is help that is how this get ops is working so get ops would have used in the tar command to just you know give this format or this give, give this option to the user right so these are the two ways through which we actually utilize the get ops power the other thing which i wanted to explore explain from the real time use perspective what happens is when we have a multiple options here what we can do is inside you know the echo you can just you know set up you know your variables and you know whatever you want to do it with those options you can set a different different variables different different you know flags and based on that you can design your main logic after this while loop and so that in your main logic based on your all options you know you can derive your logic so that is from my side for get ops if you want to understand more and if you have more complex scenario which you wanted to you know in incorporate in your real time example please feel free to put that in the comment section i would more than happy to help you on that how you can utilize the get ops in the real time environment for the real time use that's it from my side for this particular video 
and if you have any feedback and suggestion please feel free to put that in the comment section and as always stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff and one more thing if you really feel that these videos are helping you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also feel free to share these videos with your friends and your groups to whom you can think that they can be get some kind of benefit out of you know following these tutorials so once again thanks a lot for watching this